Wow, it is always sunny in Philadelphia. Not really. Just happens to be sunny today. Anyway, I'm going to show you the lawn. And this is second week of April. And I have an outbreak of Poa annua. Let me back up here. I can show you this little section here down the side of my house. I've never had this before. I mean, maybe a little bit here and there, and I've pulled it out because there's, I can't really treat it with anything. I have Kentucky bluegrass. This is really frustrating. We'll take a walk and I'll show you. So here's some here, some here, all on the edges. I've never had this. And I'm really frustrated about this. I have it down here. And then as we go out into the yard. So this here is the Poa Annua. This light colored grass with the seed heads on the top. And I have an outbreak this year, which I never had. And I don't know that there's anything I can do with it now, except leave it go, it's gonna die in a few weeks once we get some warm, warm days. But it's all down here. That's some kind of grassy weed there. It's up here. Not so much around the center, but there's a couple spots, some right there, the real light stuff, that's the poa. Right here, some poa. Poa there. And down here along this, I guess you could call it a boulevard between the raised garden bed and the walkway to the pool area. All that light, light colored grass is poa. It's all poa annua. It's really bad here. And in the garden area, now this garden area here, I turned the soil over last year so the seeds must have been down in the dirt, just waiting to be uh, turned over and brought to the surface. But there's an outbreak of it there. I did spray it with some Roundup. But... And back here, there's some as well. Have it out front. I'll take you out front and show you the front yard. It is really nice here. It's like. 65 degrees. It rained this morning. It's 65 degrees and sunny. And it rained earlier. We're not supposed to have, today's Saturday, we're not supposed to have more rain until Wednesday. I already fertilized this. I fertilized it three weeks ago, last week of March. I put down my uh, crabgrass preventer. It's due to be fertilized again. So we are out front, and I'll start from the street and walk out. And there's Pella out front, too. Really frustrated. So from a distance, it doesn't look too bad. It's nice and green. But as we walk along, you'll see Poa. Poa, there's Poa all in here. A lot of Poa here. Poa over here. Poa here. Poa, there's patches there. A little bit of Poa here. This really grew in nice. I overseeded this in the fall. Two or three times I put seed down. Some weeds in there, but they'll go away. But there's poa there. So I'm wondering if I didn't bring the poa in with the grass seed that I put down. I'm wondering if the seed that I bought had poa seed in it. I'm not supposed to. But I'm gonna do a cut today. And then I think I'm going to run the scarifier over it, 
pull out some thatch, but lots of power. And having Kentucky bluegrass, there really isn't anything I can do about it other than try to prevent it by putting down a pre-emergent in the fall. Oh, I'll turn you around here so I can see you. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just gonna have to put a pre-emergent down in the fall. And for right now, I'm gonna have to live with this poa. It will go away, but it's just so, so frustrating when you work hard to have a nice lawn. But it's all part of having a lawn, right? Something pops up, we have to figure out how we're gonna fix it, how we're gonna treat it. I haven't turned my sprinklers on, so the water that this grass has been getting is basically just rainwater. And it's spring, so the weather is cool. It's not like I need to turn the sprinklers on just yet. It's the second weekend in April, and it is a beautiful day. So I'm gonna get out the rotary mower, which is what I've been using. I have not used the real mower. I've been using the rotary mower with the bagger on it because I don't want these poa seeds to get down in the ground any more than they probably are. So I'm gonna do a, a cut with the rotary mower. I'm gonna run the scarifier over it. I'm gonna run the swordman with the scarifier cartridge on it pull up whatever dead may be in there. I'll throw some fertilizer down Monday or Tuesday since we're gonna get rain Wednesday. All right, time to get started. wasn't for the power, the lawn would look great. I'm gonna start from here and work my way out to the front, but I probably should have cut it a few days ago. So you can see the power, all the light green. Otherwise, there's no weeds and the grass looks great. If you didn't know what that was, you would just think that the grass looks good, but it's a weed, it's power. Show you the front. You can see it looks good, cut, but as you walk up on it, there is the power. And I don't know what to do. There's so much of it, I don't think I have the time to come out here and pull it by hand. I'm hoping it'll just die off in a couple weeks. There's a patch of it there some back there along the side. And Linda's out here watching. Hi, Linda. All right, I'm gonna get the scarifier out. I'm gonna get the scarifier out and scarify it, pull some of the thatch out, but not that there's a lot. But it'll open the canopy up for me to throw some fertilizer down. Uh, between now, which is Saturday and Wednesday when we're gonna get some rain. So we'll do that before I go to the back. I'm gonna do the front with the scarifier and then have it all cleaned up with the uh, rotary mower. So here we go.
So I finished with the, the thatcher with the scarifier cartridge and the uh, swordman. And uh, there, it got up quite a bit. I'll show you. Turn you around here. <coughs> now this looks uh, a lot better than it did. It stood the grass blades up. Everything was kind of matted down. You can see there's a lot as I came up in this direction. It threw it up this way. There's some here and down the property line. <laughs> so how I do it is I'll go side to side and then I'll go from the street to the house back down in the same pass. So I'm basically going over it uh, four times with the, uh, the thatcher. And there you can see the poa. But um, so to clean this up, I just uh, use the rotary mower and vacuum it up. So that's the next step. thatched, mowed again, clean up all of the debris that the thatcher or scarifier pulled up, and it looks good. I still have power though, but otherwise the grass looks good. So here's a uh, shot of it after the cleanup, and uh, it's cut at one inch with a rotary. And like I said, I don't really like the cut at one inch with the rotary mower, but I'm trying to keep it trained at one inch. So when I switch over to the real mower, which is going to be really soon, um, the grass will uh, be fine with that. But yeah, otherwise, if it wasn't for the power, it would really look good. Some people might say as they're walking by who don't know any better, oh, the grass looks great. But for me, it doesn't look great. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a, kind of a spring look at my lawn and uh, uh, how I uh, get it prepared for the season. We're in the second week of April and things are looking good. I still have to do the backyard, but I'm not gonna bore you with that. It's basically the same as what I did in the front. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button for me, and hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.